ABC's Terry Moran is on the ground in Ukraine right now. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. Russian forces are now in complete control of this part of Ukraine, the Crimean Peninsula, and they are giving every sign that they are here to stay. It's all like a bad dream from the Soviet past. Russian forces in the thousands seizing territory, armored vehicles lining the roads, the Russian Navy pouring in more forces, and Ukraine's outgunned, outnumbered troops imprisoned on their own bases by stone silent Russian soldiers. The big question now will Vladimir Putin get away with it? Secretary of State Kerry told George Stephanopoulos there will be a tough response from the U.S. and allies. You know, Russia may be able to invade Crimea, uh, but in the end, Russia will isolate itself. Already, the markets are punishing Putin with the ruble, Russia's currency plunging to all-time lows. But the deed is done, and here in Crimea, most people have welcomed the Russian troops, rejecting the pro-Western revolution in the other half of their country last week. It's calm on the surface. But as we spoke with a woman holding a Ukrainian flag, a tiny gesture of defiance against Russia, we saw the fierce passions just below the surface. Civil war is now a real possibility in Ukraine. So diplomacy with the Russians in control here is where the action is. President Obama struggling to come up with some kind of approach that is creative enough to defuse the tensions and strong enough to get Russia to back down. There is no sign of that, George. Right now, Vladimir Putin is getting what he wants. That's right. And Secretary Kerry going to be there in Ukraine tomorrow. Thank you, Terry.